What's up guys, Gamer Gian here, we're playing Clash Royale and today I want to start a new segment, it's just going to be like a let's play, I'll probably post a video once a week, uh, probably on Saturdays or Fridays of just, uh, you know, how my trophy push is going with deck, I'm currently using stuff like that. So right now guys, I'm at my all time high, 4179 trophies, 4179, um, this is a deck that I've been using, it's, I have a, a deck out there, a video out there of like a uh, Elite Bar, a royal giant deck this is with the core of the rg and the lead bars but i changed it up a little bit uh what i've done recently is i put the baby dragon for a musketeer i put a tombstone um i put the goblin game which i'm loving guys the goblin game i didn't really use it at all because i was so scared of just a level 12 zap destroying it or a log destroying it but if you place it at the right perfect times like it's it's an awesome deck guys i freaking love it so this is the deck I'm using now. Um, we're gonna go into a couple battles here, see if I can get uh, even a higher trophy count, maybe even get close to 4,300, so I can hit the challenger too. But we'll see, guys. So this is gonna be a let's play. Go over some attacks, my strategy of the deck that I'm using now. Um, it should work for you guys if you guys have those cards. And uh, hopefully we can open some crown chest. We'll open a silver chest. Let's uh, let's get into some battles now. So we are facing. Hajar Bleh. So what we're gonna do, let's start off with a tombstone. Just to see what he's gonna come at come at us with. Okay, he's gonna come at us with some minions. And he's probably gonna drop I would yeah, an RG. I thought he would drop something in front. And I'm gonna put a baby dragon here. I should take care of the minions. And I'm just gonna go with a elite barbs right here. And let's see if we can get the ice golem in front to protect the elite barbs. Man, that would be amazing. So we have a huge push going on right here, guys. He's gonna drop the barbarians, but even then, with the baby dragon, I should be somewhat protected. Okay, so I'm gonna get a baby dragon with full health. Okay, never mind. He's gonna drop a furnace, and my baby dragon is going down. He's no mini P.E.K.K.A. I have to go goblin game here. Hopefully, he doesn't use a zap or something. Yeah, there's a zap, but it's only level 11. You know that because a level 12 would take out the whole entire goblin game. So obviously, he took some damage out on us, but I'm pretty sure we're ahead of Elixir at this point. We have to be. And we're going to go with RRG and see if we can get a huge push going. Attack him. So he's going to go back with the RG, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm going to go with the Lean Bobs again. He'll probably get maybe three or four shots off. And I'm just going to sit here and save up and get the Baby Dragon. Okay, so he's going to go with Minions. Oh, my RG is going to get a lot of hits off. That baby dragon's chewing up the skeletons, guys. I'm not even going to waste my zap because I know the baby dragon will basically kill most of it. So right there, that tower is down to six. Baby dragon shoots once, the tower is done. Wow, that worked a lot better than I actually thought. That was awesome. So he's probably going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. again, I would think. Let's put Ice Golem here. I'm going to put the tombstone because I want the skeletons to, uh, to take off the ice spirits. Okay, so right there, I'm fine with this. That's going down. I'm going to go RG right here. He's going to go again with the RG on that side. He's really pushing that side. I'm going to have to zap this and hope that I can shoot it long enough. Oh, we might be in trouble, guys. No, I think we should be good. Okay. Perfect. We're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. We're going to get a push on. That baby dragon's going to eat that up. And I'm going to log this just to get extra defense. I'm gonna go, that baby dragon's gonna do well, and I'm gonna push with Elite Barbs. Yeah, I knew it, because he's gonna go with RG on that side. So I push with Elite Barbs, I should take that second tower. Or get really close to it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about that mini P.E.K.K.A. But obviously, we're fighting for the second tower, guys. Because we know he's gonna have a furnace, and he put it down. So that was a smart play by him. He's gonna put the barbs. I'm gonna go baby dragon here. I'm sure I'm still looking very good guys. He still needs to make up so much ground I mean, I guess what he's going for right here is a tie honestly Because it's gonna be hard for him to take that win I'm gonna go Lee Barbs here Let's go Ice Golem Get some of that Mini P.E.K.K.A out of here And I'm not gonna zap Oh, that Mini P.E.K.K.A is actually really strong it's Still almost full health We're gonna zap all that He might end up getting the tie out of this Which is very frustrating considering I was winning the whole entire game we got 29 seconds, guys, to take out 900 health. He's gonna drop the minion. Okay, the barbs. I'm 
gonna zap all that. I can't get too greedy. Yeah, go over here, baby dragon. Should take care of all that. I need that furnace done. That's really what I need. If I get that furnace done, I'm gonna go rushing with the lead barbs. Hopefully, I can take out the tower. And with one second, left, we're gonna take that win. Wow. GG. Good game. That was madness, guys. With one second, we took that win. Wow. And we had that game, and we, we kind of almost choked it. Choked at the last second. That was insane. So let's open up this crown chest. Let's see what we get. We got a legendary or epics. I kind of want some baby dragons. Elite barbs. Okay, I'll take that. It's a card I use. Cannon. I have a hog rider cycle deck, so I'll take the cannon. Fire spirits are always good. And oh, three musketeers. I have a lot. Maybe I should upgrade them or, or use them, but... I don't know. Let's uh, open up this silver chest, guys, so I have an, a chest slot open. Okay, so we got a bunch of uh, whatever cards. Let's just open that one for now. Let's do another battle, guys. Let's see if we can hit 42.30 around there. And we're already at a record. This is our record, guys. So anything above here is good. And we're facing no fly zone. Level 12. So this could be it for a streak. I think I've won like five or six battles in a row with this deck. Okay, so he's another minion user. I'm gonna go with the tombstone. Man, if he goes with RG, that'd be like insane because he'd have the same process as the other guy. Okay, so he's not. He's gonna go with an ice golem. I mean, the archers. I want the ice golem. And my baby dragon. By the time it gets there, it should be able to do enough damage. I'm gonna go leap barb on this side. Those archers are doomed. Even with the fireball. He's only gonna get a couple shots off, and I'm, I'm I can live with that, guys. I can live with that. I think we're pretty even elixir-wise, so I'm gonna put the RG, see if he can defend that, see what he has to counter it. Okay, don't have, don't have a zap, don't have a zap. Oh, there's a zap. No, that log was bad, guys. I should have played the ice golem, but I was kind of in a hurry. Oh man, we're gonna be in trouble there. Now my RG, yeah, he's gonna get toast. So we're obviously not doing too well, guys. I should have put the ice golem on the left instead of the the log. That costs us a lot of damage, obviously. We'll go ice golem here and just kind of defend this as much as we can. But it's also tough that he has the level 12 zap. It's hard against my with my goblins. But he just used a zap here, so let's see if we can get some hits off. Because I know he doesn't have the zap. Oh. We should be able to get a lot of damage off because he dropped the archers. We should be able to get a lot of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Down to 1,053. We actually took the lead right there. And right here, these elite barbs are done. And those archers should be done as well. Okay, so we'll get a couple shots off. So we still have a good shot, guys. You see how much that goblin can did work? It's such a great card to use. Right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go right here. And let's go Ice Golem. That's what I'm talking about, guys. And he uses Zap already. So that means my Goblin again, I could use it again. Um, he's going to push that side. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to throw the Goblin again. He has no Zap. Perfect. So the Barbs are there. I should take out most of those Barbs. He's going to go here. I need to get the Barbs down. Get the Barbs down. Oh, just in time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, guys. We're looking really good. We got 22 seconds to hold off. 22 seconds to hold off. He's gonna put that. Let's go here with a tombstone. I know he still has the zap, so I don't want to put my goblin gang down. And it looks like we're gonna I'm gonna put a leap barbs here for some defense. Last five seconds. Put an ice bowler. That's gonna be GG. Good game, guys. We are killing it with this deck. And we got a magical checks out of that. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I had to clear that silver chest. But I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I don't want to push too far. I'll push later. But this is the deck that I'm using, guys. And it has been... My max previous to this deck was around 4,080, something around there. But once I put the Goblin Gang in the deck, it's uh, it's giving me a good punch of offense. I used to have Fire Spirits there. Uh, and, and the Goblin Gang just does work. And I tried the Skarmy as well for 3 Elixir. But it doesn't have the offensive punch that this Goblin Gang potentially could have. Also, the Goblin Gang does have the Spear Goblins for air, guys. So, try using the Goblin Gang. 
I've seen a lot of decks, a lot of people in the upper trophies using them. So it's it's really uh, it's really a dirty deck, and my RG as well. But that's it, guys. We hit our record so far, 4239. Um, we've won. See, this was clan battle, but we've won. These are all ladders, so that's five, six. We've won around six in a row with this deck up here. This trophy, which is pretty good. So I'll probably in another week put another let's play video and see to try to push the 4300. Let's see what happens, guys. But don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. I'll see you in the next one.